Good day, rail fans and truck fiends. We've got a lot to talk about from latest projects to our latest announcements. Big and small, all coming up now. Welcome back to the Porter's Old Iron Vlog, reeling you in on the latest projects and shenanigans that we are up to for those that, frankly, even care. I'm Joel Porter, aka the guy behind the camera. To note, I usually prefer to be on camera, but I'm still getting over a bug. Plus, the freezing temperatures of January is keeping me out of my DIY studio on wheels. But anyways, I got a few life updates to share with y'all, plus a few announcements on some projects and even a channel partnership. Plenty to entertain any audience of all ages, so definitely stay tuned. Since recording the last vlog we did, I graduated high school. Joel Porter. Outside of taking a few sightseeing trips and editing older videos, I've been mostly focused on growing my business. With me temporarily working from home, Dad has more rather enjoyed having me around to help on miscellaneous projects. Since graduating last summer, we've acquired a few items and started some projects that were on the back burner. I myself got a hold of a 2003 Ford Ranger, which so far has done me quite well. She's made her rounds on local fanning trips and business functions. I've put in my touch of customizations, including window decals, mood lights, and decoration. Unless my business requires a heavier duty pickup, I have no plans of replacing her in the near future. My dad and I have acquired two new items from a friend. A straight truck, which will be a key component to an upcoming project, and a railroad-owned semi-trailer. As of now, we have plans of building a model layout inside. To include, we have a few small projects such as restoring this all-original New York Central signal head. On the modeling side, we've done our fair share. We've begun work on our fictional livery, which will be our main feature of our layouts, plus some other short lines and familiar names. While on topic of railroading, we've recently begun work on a new YouTube channel with some friends. My friend group collectively wanted to do something nice for a friend that's done a lot for us. So we created a channel in his name. Of course, with his acknowledgement, check this video out. Go Austin, a dose. Hey guys, how'd you like to look in your mirror and see this we're pulling you over? What do you think? As a partial affiliate of RailStream's Delaware, Ohio camera, and a railroad engineer himself, he's got plenty of clips and other goodies worth sharing. Do make sure to take a second after the video to check his page out. And now for the big project. I'll let my dad cover this one. Hey there, this is Paul Porter. Uh, Joe and I would like to introduce you to one of our big projects for the year. Uh, what you're looking at is a 1951 Rio F22RT. This truck was purchased off the showroom floor back in Kanawha City, West Virginia, or also known as Charleston, West Virginia, back in 51. And um, my dad bought it to pull tankers for coastal tank lines. And uh, they had, at that time, they had a route from uh, Charleston, uh, West Virginia, to Cold Grove, Ohio. So it, it would pull a trailer seven days a week. We've had it for some time now, and we uh, have not been able to do much with it other than pull it around and clean it up a little bit, and that's about it. But um, this will be one of our big, our biggest projects for this year. We know that we have a whole lot to do, and it's going to take us a good while. So we hope that you stick around and watch this thing be transformed into the beautiful truck that we kind of have in mind. 
by the way, we got some special footage for you. Since I had to go down to Southern Ohio to get this, out of a field, mind you. Uh, you know, <laughs> we have some good footage. So it's been a while, but uh, we have it available and you're gonna enjoy this. Trying to get the dump truck working. We need extra help. Try for that left side, it's a little higher probably, but... out of here the Rio decided to take out a tree it didn't like yeah, she was saying out of my way tree I'm mowing you down now yeah, we're trying something new well here it is five o'clock on Saturday we haven't made it out yet hey I can't do much walking I'm gonna do what I can bro Now one broke down. Up oh, there's Ellen. on there's the dump truck. She's uh, broke down. She been digging though. She digging up the mud. You can see that all through there. That's where they went through. He tried to get the reel up through there. She just didn't want to go. And uh, Right here, we're in the, the level area where it branches off, curves to the left and curves to the right, goes up the, the other part of the driveway. There's Bucky's truck. And uh, lo and behold, going up a little bit, eh? Right in there is where she sat. She's been there for almost well, 19 years. So she came up out of there 
did pretty well. The buck with the tree, yay! There's that nice, wonderful boom. Oh, baby! City, we're going around seven. He's bounding down, airing up the tires. Well, here it is, Sunday, October the 18th, and uh, I'm not really beginning the stages of doing any major work to Rio, but um, I'm just glad that she's here. Right now, she's in my driveway. But uh, anyway, other than having all kinds of other stuff in here and all that jazz, just uh, getting the look of things here. You got the evening sun coming in. Kind of a glare on some things, but there she is. Still even got a, a battery in there. <laughs> Six volt. It's not going to be 6 volt much longer. I'm trying to get the seat out right now. This is one of the things that I remember about this truck growing up. Is that uh, <laughs> the big stop signs on the back. And uh, that boom sure has handled quite a few cars and trucks. To say the least. But uh, anyway. Oh, hallelujah. It's good to have it here. So, things are going to take a little while. Got another winter for her to go through, and then a real big process will start on. So, 